What is going on guys, Jet95 Gamer here and I'm back with episode 39 of my Inter Milan next gen career mode. As you can see, uh, Montpellier come back saying 10 million for Ishak Belfort deal is brilliant and um, they're going to go go along with the deal, so that is good news. And uh, we have to look to get a new striker and then his replacement. But obviously with Kevin Rouse being confirmed to go into Real Madrid, we need to get a new right midfielder. And our main priority target at the moment is Sheridan Shakiri of Switzerland and FC Bayern Munich. We offer um, we offered him a deal at the end of last episode and we're on contract negotiations now, obviously, because the deal did get accepted. We do offer him a 70k contract a week. And that's because Liverpool coming for Juan Jesus to say 30 million and you can have the Brazilian centre-back, which I don't think they're going to be um, taking... And um, he looks like he'll be staying. There's no way we're going to let him go anyway. And the Liverpool come back, and rightly so, they say that he's not worth that much, and they're not going to pay that for him. So that's good news on all fronts there, and we won't be losing any players for the time being, that looks like. As you can see, we do go in to get um, Manlo Gabbiadini. He's been accepted, obviously, for £8.5 million plus Ishak Belford deal. It looks like he'll be going on his way out now. And uh, the £10 million deal to Montpellier will probably break through because the Gabbiadini deal has gone through. As you can see, Brian Carrasco comes into the office and said he wants to play in the next game and try and fill the boots that um, Kevin Rouse has left. So it's going to be really big boots to fill, obviously, at Real Madrid now. He's class one of Real Madrid superstars. So, yeah, Carrasco has got his work cut out. But we do go into our first game of the episode here, and it is a game against Cagliari. A very great side, you know. A team that whenever we play, they do give us a great fight here, and hopefully it'll be a great one again in this Copa Nationale quarterfinal here. Actually, the quarterfinal? No, it is actually the round of 16. I thought we were in the quarterfinal tails yet, but obviously that ain't the case. Um, Amobolo and Gabi Adini gets um, his debut up front for us, as you can see there. Kovacic, Witzel, Depay, Carrasco. It looks like a good side attacking-wise, and hopefully we will get the result we're looking for. Jakob um, in the Cagliari lineup, you know. Um, Sal, Nene, Cabrera. You know, it's a good team and all, but in the first and three minutes, we pick up the ball here with Gabi Adini. Um, he does really well not to give up that chase there, and the defender clears it straight to him, but falls back into his pass. He puts across into Immobile, Immobile with the header, and he does make it 1-0 within four minutes into this game. A great start from Inter Milan, and a great goal from the Italian man there, getting his goal. Um, the two Italians link up, that's the first time I played with two Italian strikers up front, um, and it's the first time I've got two Italian strikers and two Argent Argentine strikers, so um, it's going to be very interesting to see how they perform, and uh, what, what different combinations work. Uh, you, you would think the same nationality um, combinations would work, but we have to see um, what happens and what goes on there. But Mabla does get his first goal in the Copa Nationale this season and very well played for him down. I'm very happy for him. As Caglari now on the pursuit now with Sal. Sal on the ball. Great bit of football there. Gives it away to Brian Carrasco. Though. Plays it into Memphis. Dupay, plays it into Immobile. Immobile onto the ball. Um, looks to make men ends meet here. He takes the shot and that is just what he can do. Immobile somehow goes from zero goals at the start of this one to two just like that. And, like I said, players can only dream of the form that he's in at the moment. You know, um, you only hit form like this probably once in your career. You know, have a really great season like this. And, you know, Mobe's doing that now. And, you know, it, it, can he be considered one of the top strikers in Europe at the moment? Um, yeah, I think performances like this can consider him to be like that. And why wouldn't you consider it? You know, a shot like that and, you know, from that far out, you could argue the goalkeeper could have done better. You can argue that the post did aid him there. But Immobile does get the goal now. It's his second goal in the Copa National this season. Very well played, and we find ourselves 2 up. But from a corner now, Kovacic puts the ball in, sends it into Joel Matip with the header, but it's safely into the hands of the goalkeeper. I believe it is Navas in net, actually. Um, obviously, the Costa Rica goalkeeper, who actually is a really good goalkeeper. But we do win a free kick here in the 23rd minute, and Witzel is going to play this one in. He plays it in towards the head of Matip. Matip gets his header to it, but um, Navas comes out and safely punches it away. Nassau is through on goal in the 24th minute now. To side comes out but well, what a change that was from Vitzel and look at this one again what a change from Vitzel I had to stick that in there because that is just absolute brilliant play that is that, that you don't get better than that defensively at the moment a Kedel picks the ball plays um then they picks him out from the crowd Kaguaro goes to take his shot but it's a great block there from Joel Matip and uh, Kaguaro are getting a, a very very frustrated here Matip picks up the ball here yet again in the 40th minute plays it into Gabby Dini great touchdown there from the Italian striker goes to take his shot but the player did get in front of him and it was a, a pretty terrible shot um the, the result of it right there. So that was poor. Drexler then picks the ball in the 45th minute. Right on half time. Plays it over. A great ball into Gabby Adini here. Gabby Adini looks to make the, that, that ball count. He takes his shot. But it's a great save again from the goalkeeper. And Cagliari do look to get that cleared there. But it's played all the way into Julian Drexler there. Great header down I believe from Kovacic. In space he takes his shot. But it goes wide on the mark there. And we end the half 2-0 up. And Drax is disappointed not to find the third goal in the game there, but nothing you can do about that. But Carrasco picks up the ball here. Great bit of footwork there from the um, Chile man. He finds a Mobley yet again. That header, that, that header is just brilliant. You know, he can header the ball for fun, um, Mobley. He's such a great player. But unfortunately, um, the goalkeeper was key to him. It was straight at him. And, you know, it was a great header, though, you know. Um, 49th minute now. The corner does come in. Kovacic is going to put it in. The ball comes in to the head of Sebastian Varane. And what a goal from the Frenchman there. The header was well um, well placed and, you know, it had enough power in it to beat Navas. And it was high enough to beat Astori on the line, I do believe. 
And, you know, Snorri is a good defender. You know, don't get me wrong, he is above average. And it, not even he could stop that. I don't even think it was a story, actually. It was Cab Cabarella, I think. But what a header, you know. Um, no chance getting that. Two men attempted to get that ball they couldn't get. And the Varane should be proud of that, getting his first goal of the National League. And it's what a time for it to come. Great goal for him there. Um, Gabby Dini picks up the ball here in the 55th minute, plays it into Brian Carrasco, trying to link up with his new teammates. Carrasco, great bit of footwork there, gets himself into space and unleashes the shot, but it's a great save. It falls to Julian Draxler, who hits the ball, and that is as poor a shot you're going to get from the Inter man there. Very disappointing from Draxler, but Draxler again picks out a great pass there into Brian Carrasco. Here comes Carrasco on the ball, crosses the ball into Gabby Dini, misses the header, it falls to Memphis Depay. The pay goes for the finesse in the bottom corner, but unfortunately he cannot find a target here. And yet again, that's a great chance squandered. And that's another chance that goes begging for us there. So, you know, the team needs to be doing better in these situations. Well played for Memphis, though, for getting his foot wrapped around that ball. But, you know, he needs to be a bit more on target there, though, unfortunately, there, lad. As you can see, Kelio picks up the ball here, plays it into Gabriel. As Kelio looks to get a consolation goal here, Ericsson picks up the ball here. 70 minutes, 20 minutes left to go. Plays it back into Sal. Sal on the ball, takes the ball, looks into space, but his shot does get dragged wide there. And that's not troubling to Steigen at all. In what world is that ever going to touch Hogan? Um, 23rd minute now, they're on the tack there again here with Daniello Avlia. Avlia. Um, the ball gets deflected into Chelio's path, he plays it into De, De Sena, and De Sena takes the shot, and it's a great finish there from the Cagliari man, and he does put the ball into the back of the net, you know, and like I said, there is no shame in um, banging the goal in, and, you know, the defence just got undone, and Cagliari, if they played like that all game, they the game probably would have been different. As you can see, they're on the ball, yet again, the ball comes in, and it's safe into the hands of De Steigen, though, and the chance is wasted, but look at this kick from De Steigen, plays it into the path of Arcadi, Arcadi wins the ball back, plays it into Gabby Adini, um, playing with his new teammate, Taylor plays it over the top, into Arcadi, comes on, Gabby Adini has not made an impact since joining here, but the one man I know I can always rely on is this man here, the Argentine, Muro Arcadi, what a goal that was from him, you know, he just just come onto the pitch really actually been on the pitch for about five minutes he's fresh he got the ball there from taylor great great to see her two substitutes um linking up and getting the goal there four nil and that's as cool finish you're going to get there from russian time man took the ball down onto the chest and the control onto the foot and then the easy finish past navas to make it um obviously dreamland for us now four nil and that's the three points definitely wrapped up and his first goal not the three points um the next round wrapped up for us 86 minute navas kicks the ball out straight to the head of fabio barini plays it into icardi links up well with gabbiadini yet again that's a great pass from gabbiadini plays it in to Icardi, who just shoots past Navas yet again to make it 5-1. And, yep, we're definitely standing for into the next round. I'm not sure if I was treating this game like a league game, but it is the Cup National League. So, yeah, uh, if I did say three points before, I uh, don't mean it. It is actually the Cup game. But very well played there from Miro Icardi. Two goals in the Cup National League. And, uh, yeah, it looks like that's safely said that we are standing for into the next round with a confirmation coming up now. We are in the quarterfinals for the <laughs> consecutive years, you know, three years in a row now. Very well played from the lads. As you can see, Shakiri does decline it because he says he loves living here. And, you know, 70 grand a week is a bit low, and I believe he's worth more than that. So, we do offer him a new contract. We say he could be an important first-team player. <laughs> Not sure if that's right, but 85 grand a week, you know, he could be tempted 15 grand pay or as. I would be a bit be tempted, but Joe Obi, the 23 year old, comes to the office. You know, I was really expecting better things from him this season, and he does come and say he wants a good, good chance to play. You know, he knows he's down the picking order, he realizes that. We do also go in for Alexis Sanchez here for 16 minutes, see if they accept that Barcelona. But yeah, Obi isn't developing the way I want him to develop as we go into this game against Atlanta. I just want to say a little word on Obi. He's a great player, a great attitude, he hardly ever moans, you know, and that's what I like in a player. But yeah, he's not growing. And I, I really don't know why. I'm playing in the, him in the positions that he likes to play. And he just doesn't seem to be growing. So, I mean, maybe looking to um, cash in on OB coming up. Something I don't want to do. He's a good player, but lacks out. And um, Taylor are just oh, out of his league at the moment. Um, Form-wise form and ability-wise. So, you know, it's going to be disappointing. But, yeah, we have to see how that goes, that one. But as you can see, we pick up the ball here against Atlanta. In the seventh minute, we play into Choletto. Chileto onto the ball, um, crosses the ball in to Muriel Akali with the header. Looks to continue his great form, but it is well saved. It falls to Safir Taylor, finds a back in it in the 8th minute with a loop and header over the goalkeeper. And he, he really isn't known for scoring goals like that, but the Algerian man is not going to be um, phased by that at all because he has scored a fantastic goal there, you know. just The ball just looping over the goalkeeper with ease, you know. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be very disappointed, um, the goalkeeper and the defender. You know, he batted it way into Taylor. And the two defenders didn't get nowhere close to the ball, and it's an easy enough finish for him there. Look at this. The header, you know, he, he actually does clash heads there, I do believe, with the other defender, if you want to rewind that back. But, yeah, craziness. Three goals in the Serie A this season. Very well played there for Safir Taylor. 
We move into the 14th minute now. Alvarez picks up the ball and looks that, for that run of Shaledo. Shaledo picks up the ball here. Obviously, he's playing because Carrasco's in the first team. And he's dipping shot there. And then he finds Wayne to the back end of it. And Shaletto is not really a player that I'm looking to hold on to either, you know. He's probably one of them players, once his contract runs out, I'm happy to let him go in a free agent because we don't need any other right midfielders into the club, I don't believe. We've got Barini, we've got Depay, we've got Carrasco, and obviously we're looking to fill the boots with either Sanchez or Sheridan Shakiri. But Arcadi picks up the ball here in the 36th minute. Great bit of touchdown there, great bit of footwork. Opens the ball up, opens his body up, gets the space, but unfortunately cannot find the ball in the back of the net yet again. And that is disappointing because I think that he, he deserves a goal. He's got two goals in the game before and he really is hitting form yet again, Akali. And uh, it just proves why I enjoy using him, you know. And it's only a matter of time before he gets himself back into the first team, I do believe, because he really is a great player. Uh, Esther Gabria picks up the ball here. Esther Gabria, I don't know how to say his name, but his shot is well saved there from, I believe it's Bardi in goal, actually. Or is it to Steigen? I'm not too sure. To Steigen in goal. So, yeah, great save again. And... You know, Matip was trying to close him down with Lurie and I believe Campanaro at the back, but it's not our favourite back four, but it's a back four we can deal with. We're going to the second half now, and uh, a great ball in there from Campanaro plays it into Alvarez, a great save there, it falls to Shaletto, and he really should be finishing that, you know, he's really tall. You'd think, being really tall, that your heading ability would be one of the strong points, but no. Look at this, he puts his body there, and he just heads it straight over the bar. Very disappointed there from Shaletto, and, you know, yeah, like I said, he's not one of the players, the superstars of this club. Alvarez picks up the ball here, plays a great through ball into Muro Akali, takes the ball down, goes to take the shot, it's saved, well, it falls to Kuzmanovic, who takes the shot, again, again, another great save from the goalkeeper. As time is wearing on, it's still 1-0 here, but we can easily concede as Bonfatura um, lays off the ball into Brivo. Brivo takes the shot, and we get sold by our own free kick technique, the LTNA, the layoff pass. And, uh, yes, Atlanta get the goal back and do us with our own trick there. So, um, that's a big blow there. 20 minutes left to go in this game. Still plenty of time to get the game back. But, uh, the way it looks, it looks like no ball wants to go in at the back of the net now. But, um, yeah, we have to keep at Atlanta now because they've got to boost the confidence there. Taylor picks up the ball in the 77th minute now. 30 minutes left to go in this game. Flicks the ball over the top into Ricardo Alvarez, which takes the ball down very well there. Goes take the f um, takes a few shots ahead of him and, you know, it gets deflected for a corner there. Very poor shot. He should have took it maybe first time, I was hoping, but... He didn't, and no, we can't do anything about it. But the corner does come into our lorry, and the lorry can't find the back of the net there. And the ball goes over the, the top of the goal, and just like that, 90th minute, we pick up the ball now. Joel Obi apparently needs to perform. He plays a great ball actually into De Dan Brasino here. Dan Brasino plays it into Pedro Obi and just shoots well wide in the 90th minute. And that is how the game will finish, guys. Very disappointing result for us. You know, Immobile couldn't do anything despite his best efforts coming on late. Pedro Obi too, or Dan Brasino. And. Disappointing result all around for the lads, and you no know, one-one draw against Atlanta. Not of one of our brightest times, but I still think we're safe here. But Abel Hernandez, we look to get him to um, four million plus Ricardo Alvarez now. So um, actually one million plus Alvarez. So we we'll see how that goes. We still got so much money here, so I'm not worried about losing all of it. But yeah, we we'll just have to see how that goes. And we do have to leave you guys looking at the table here. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, make sure you share the video because it really does help my channel get out, out there. Have a really nice day, guys. Peace.